due to the government shutdown, my office is performing only essential legislative operations with very minimal staff and leave a message after the tone. Messages will be checked periodically. We called, left a message, nothing. Our next call was to Georgia's other senator, Johnny Isaacson. Still, no luck. Hello, this is Senator Johnny Isaacson. Thank you very much for your call. Unfortunately, my staff is not able to handle your call because the federal government is currently shut down. Ninth District Congressman Doug Collins took a dramatically different tact. Yeah, I'm sitting right now at the at my uh, staff assistant's front desk, and if you walked in the door, you'd see me on the phone right now talking to you. That's right. He answered his own phones yesterday. Today, he apparently got some relief, but that relief had no time to speak. I did get a response via email from a member of Congressman Paul Brown's staff, Jane Burrell. She confirmed what we'd heard. The phones are ringing off the hook. They may be getting more traffic than than typically they would get, and um, you know they're probably not doing it all well on this. <laughs> but good customer service may not matter. UGA political science professor Charles Bullock says since Georgia's a red state, your elected representatives aren't worried about holding on to their seats. I would be surprised if there are going to be any electoral consequences, at least for members from Georgia. Bullock has some advice, not for the people you put in office, but for you. Uh, for the constituents, I'm afraid they're just going to have to be patient. <laughs>